Um, hello, and welcome to another uh, game. This is Sudoku. Uh, it's a website game. You can play it online. Uh, you can also download it on Play Store if you want. But today, we're going to just be playing it online um, and on hard posts. This is a hard Sudoku puzzle. And, of course, before we begin, I will briefly go over uh, how to play the game. So, it is a puzzle game, and... The goal of the game is to get um, numbers 1 through 9 in each square. And how to do that is um, basically solving for the unknown. So I would say it's similar to math, like algebra in a way. But um, how to do that is um, the rules for that, I mean, is uh, 1 through 9 uh, in a row. Uh, for that, for instance, like, you can't have two ones, or two fives, or two fours, or three fours. You have to have, like, one of each number in a single row from left to right, as well as from top to bottom. So, from top to bottom, one through nine, only once. So, the numbers only once does not repeat in that, um, row, basically, or column. So, yeah. Another one, uh, another rule. Similar to that is each box as well. You have numbers one through nine, which do not repeat. So, um, the way to solve that, uh, for instance, if you look at the square here, okay, and this is just an example, but if you're like, think, is this a five? If you look from the right and below, it's not a five because you see the five over there. As well as there's two in the square. Now, you may be wondering, does that have anything to do with the square? Yes, because you cannot have more than one two in a single square, more than one four in a single square, and so on. One number each time in each square, in each um, row, in each column. So, now that um, you understand that, hopefully, uh, we will be starting to solve. So, um, to solve this, yes. Uh, what we're going to do is to start with 1 through 9, and, uh, let's see. So, we're going to look from the top to bottom, left to right. So, as you can see, there's no ones here, no ones here. So, there's ones in this row and this row. Um, we're not going to write down everything yet. We're going to look for the most obvious answers first, then work to the more difficult ones. Because in math, you want to, um, start with the simple solutions to get to solving the more complicated problems, if that makes sense. So, we have two. Alright, so no twos in here. As you can see, in a row, there's only one two in this row, as well as here. So, we have no twos in this part of the squares here and here. So, we're going to turn on the notes. One of these is a two. If we only have two possible answers, um, it's a high chance one of them is the answer. So, 50% for this square, 50% for this one. So that's what I like to start with. And another thing to note, one of these is a 2, therefore, if there was not a 2 here, we could use this as a reference. It's a future example uh, to say, one of these is a 2, therefore, this is not a 2, therefore, this is also not a 2. This is another strategy I discovered, um, which we don't really need for this one. Uh, example in particular, but for future reference, you might need to take note of that. So, uh, let's um, make sure no twos here, no twos here, don't need any more notes for that. Alright, three. Um, let's see, as I can see already, we can get a number because, looking down from here, no threes here, see the three here, no threes here, we've got one row left, and we have a three here, let me go Cross. So now we only have, um, so we don't actually, we didn't actually solve it yet, but we can make some notes. So there may be a three here, maybe a three here, and feel free to second guess, or not second guess, but to, uh, double check is what I mean to say. Um, so you can go over again in your head, just kind of look through it to make sure you didn't make a mistake because you're going to make a lot of mistakes on these at first, but if you continue doing this and practice a lot, then hopefully there'll be less mistakes. But honestly, uh, people always make mistakes when it comes to complicated stuff. Um, so I mean, it's always good to double check. Okay, so, um, 
Now let's look for this four, and of course here, and of course here. So it's quite a bit of uh, fours that could be here. Let's not go with that yet. Um, let's see. And of course here, and of course here. All right, so already we can see one of our strategies, so I'll talk about it in a minute, but for now, let's make some notes, and I'll explain it in a minute. So, there may be a 4 here, and there may be a 4 here. Okay, and when I write down these numbers, another strategy I didn't mention before, but if one of these is a 2, and all the other numbers are not a 2, um, it depends. It depends on the circumstance. Like, if you have gone through all the numbers, which we haven't yet, but once you do, um, let's say, if this was a 2 and a 4, and this was a 2 and a 4, for example, I'm not saying that is true, but if that was the case, then that would mean that if this was a 2 and a 4, and this was a 4, or this was a 2 and this was a 4, the other numbers would not be a 2 or a 4, because there's only two possible answers for both of these. If that was a situation, which is another way to solve some of the more complicated problems. Anyways. Um, with that strategy said, the other one I was going to talk about is, here you see there's one of these is a 4, um, and this is not a 4, these two squares, and then you go above here, these are also not a 4. So if one of these are a 4, this also counts as a 4 in a row, in here. This, uh, so we go down from 4 here, we also go here and look down and say, this is a 4, this is not a 4, this is also not a 4. So, now that we have that information, we can make notes and say this could be a 4 and this could be a 4. So, I'll explain again, but, so we saw, um, to see, there's no force here, no force here. One of these is a 4. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's in a row, like so. Then we know that either one is a 4. It doesn't matter, because if one of them is in the row, below will not be a 4. So, hopefully that makes sense, and let's go ahead and make our notes, so, for 4. All right, then using that, I can go back up. This is a 4 over here already, and this already goes through the square with this 4, and this 4 also goes through there. Okay, so, we did that. Now let's go to 5. Um, already I can see, uh, let's start here. Go 5 through here, and a 5 through here. The other row here has to be a 5. It's the only other place it can be a 5. Now, you may be thinking, oh, well, we got started solving this. It should be easy. It's not. They give you a couple easy numbers to start with, but like, uh, after that point, you're going to have to rely heavily on notes. And you're going to need them. Um, you can't just like do this in your head. And yes, yeah, some people can, but. Notes are helpful for most people, especially if you're just starting out and you don't know what to do, so, yeah. Anyways, so we've got a 5 over here. Uh, I forgot to turn off notes. This is, an act this is actually a 5. So, yeah, we went through here, no 5's here, no 5's here, just to double check, and yes. Um, okay, let's take a look at the rest of the 5's again. Um, and I can see this should be, uh... No fives here, no fives here, so only one row with fives. I'm going to make some more notes. Five here, five here, one of them is a five. Um, alright. So we're going through here, then here, got a little large square. Don't want to do that right now. Um, go through here, then here. Um, let's see, I think that's all for now. We can go back through fives again later, because once we have a number, we go to other numbers like say threes or ones. Uh, once you start putting one number, sometimes other numbers will also be revealed because, um, yeah, because once you start to solve it, things will begin to change slowly. So let's go to six, and no six is in this row. No six is in this row. All right. So now we're going to make some more notes. Could be a six here or here. All right. And, um, uh, let's see, we can make, oh, I see another thing over here. Okay, so, let's see, no six is here, and also no six is here. And can you see, it makes like a little 
uh, cross, and there's like uh, no sixes in this square, and this square one right over here. So we're going to go to notes and do that. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast. It's hard to keep track, but basically, maybe a six in a row. Uh, so look at the six in a row, this row, and there's none in this square. Uh, sorry if I'm not making sense. I'm trying to explain. But anyways, um, so yeah, we figured out that there's a six here or here. I'm not saying there is here or ends here. It is one or the other. But because we don't know, we at least know this in one of the rows, and because it's in the same column, that means the rest of the column is also not a six in the other areas. Okay. And because of that, we can go through and say no sixes in this column, and then using this, no sixes in this column, we have just solved for another number, six. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. And now we're going to look through here again, just to make sure. So no six is in this column, no six is in this column. Now we have two more squares in this column. We can see the six does not want this six here. We have one other place. This is a six as well. And there we go. Uh, we are not done yet. And now because of that, I'll slow down a bit just to make sure we know what we're doing. No six is in this row, going down here. No sixes in this row, and then we have two squares. All right, six here, and six here, here or here. Right, so, um, let's go back just to see if there's anything else we could do before we go to the next number. And I think we're good. So, and of course, if we miss something with this number six, we can go back again, which we may do, because, um, already solved it for some of the numbers and like I said it will change once we have solved for some of the numbers to begin with. So going to number seven. Um let's see. So no seven in this row here and no seven in this row here. So we've got one row left for seven. So let's make some notes. So there should be a seven here or here. Alright, here we go. Now um, let's go back and look for some more um, things that we can find out. No seven's here. Okay, no seven's here. So there's three possibilities. Sometimes you can um, discover what one of the numbers is with three possibilities, but it's a little more rare. And I don't start with that, but I do begin to find that out later. For now, we're not going to do that at the moment. So um, let's go back. Um, and there's no sevens here. There's no other numbers around for the square for that. I don't figure out where other sevens are, except I know they're only on the top and bottom row. But I don't have any more information about that. So let's go back here. Um, hmm, no. No. A lot of unknowns. It's better to have less unknowns than a lot of unknowns. You can, you can solve for that. So, anyways, I think it's time to move on to number eight. Uh, let's go here. And as you can see, there's only one number eight. Uh, so, however, if you go up over here, and I'll try to explain this, but you see, there's no eight in this row. All right. So, there's also, should not be any eight in this row, as you see the eight down here. Therefore, the only other row left must have an eight. And I can already say that there's also no nines in this row or this row. Therefore, one of these is also a 9. So, we could do this quickly, but we're going to do step by step. We'll start with 8. We're going to go to 9 in a minute, like I was talking about. But, for now, uh, one of these is an 8. So, and I know that this is three variables, um, which means three unknown numbers. I don't usually start with this. However, because I have a row, like so, where 8 is a possible number, we are actually helping us solve other numbers by saying that this row here is also not an 8. So, therefore these two would be an 8. Now, let's begin to make some notes. <clears throat> Alright, so this could be an 8, this could be an 8, and this could be an 8. 
and using the information, uh, we start from here. No rates here. No rates here. Therefore, either this is made here or here on this row. Okay. So now we're going to have two notes for eight. Uh, that's good. All right. Um, and we go with eight to the other side. Well, I'd rather not at the moment. Um, okay. So now let's go over to nine. And for this one, uh, we have two nines. So that helped a bit. Um, all right. So no nines in this row. Let's go to here. No nines in this row. All right. So now let's go to our notes. And again, um, each number in a row is only written once. It does not repeat. In a row or a column. So, and also in a square, only one number each, it does not repeat, so not two ones or three ones or five fives or like three fours or something like that. So, only one number once. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's go back to nine. Uh, so as you can see, no nine to this row or this row. Okay. So, go to nine, over here to nine. Hey, maybe one more why I'm repeating how to uh, go through the game and the rules. Well, uh, I know most people would start on a hard difficulty, but it, it's kind of hard to remember the rules all the time, even if, you know, you may do it all the time, or just for someone who's starting out, but they want a bit of a challenge at first, I would say it's okay. You can start maybe easy or medium or hard if you want, and I just want to make sure you understand uh, the rules because sometimes you will make mistakes and you might have two numbers in one square or two numbers in all. But anyways, enough about that. Um, so with your all the numbers now, uh, one through nine, and we're going to go again and see if we can find something. And already, I can see something. I will show you. Okay, so let's go from here. One, number one to this column. Okay, or row. I think I'll call them rows. <clears throat> and no ones in this row. As you can see, there's no ones in this shape right here. The only one square where there's a one is here. So, why not put one here? All right. And uh, let's go from here. No one's here to here. No one's here. Um, maybe one of these three. Let's not do that right now. All right. No one's in this line. And then the ones in this line. Okay, so now I can see two possibilities. Let's make some more notes. So this could be a one, or this could be a one. So now I can see um, there are quite a few possibilities. So one, eight, or nine, one, eight, or nine. Now that we've already solved this, I think I may as well put something over here. Um, I don't know if it's only the numbers 1, 8, and 9, or others. No, so. Actually, let's not do that yet. Oh, let's go back. So, um, hopefully, that doesn't confuse anything. But, uh, anyways, let's see. So, still going with 1. So, there's no ones in this row. Let's go here. No ones in this row. Alright. So, we see two uh, unknowns. Could be a 1 here, or here. Okay. Um,. Let's see what else. Um, let's go on to number two. All right. So again, which is here or here? We have that note insert down. That's good. Okay. And then go ahead here. No is here. So there's one of them in this row. Um, I think that it's time to write down notes for this. So no is here. Also for future reference. Uh, if of course you needed this. For figure out there are no twos here or here, but we already have them in the squares, so that isn't actually too helpful for us at the moment, but it could be in the future. All right, um, so we've got two no twos here or here. Okay, so now we have another row to help us, so this could be a two here or here. Hopefully, we got that. Um, let's make sure we didn't make a mistake or anything. No twos in this row. No two in this row. Yeah, I think that I got that. So uh, now with, with that information, you know that this row, one or the other, uh, this is a row now. Uh, should be a two. Okay. So there's no twos here. 
because either this is a 2 or this is a 2. It's an entire square. Therefore, the rest of it is not a 2, if that makes sense. So, now this is not a 2 here. Okay, so now you have two places. So, this could be a 2 or this could be a 2. Okay. And let's go back, see if there's anything else we can solve. Um, I think we can move on. All right. All right. The number is 3. Um, let's see, now three's here, got four, I don't want to go with that, um, here we go. Okay, now three's in this row, this row, we go here, now three's in this row, we solve for that, minus our three, okay, that's good. Um, don't see any other ones, also looking through it, uh, mentally, not just verbally. Normally I talk about where everything is, but I think that at this point I don't see any other places for that. So anyways, let's speed up a little bit. I guess if there's a we want to. Alright. Now of course here, here. Now we're using this I don't think we have already. Yeah we have. Now of course in this row, this row, so now we have that that as well. Okay, that's good. Um hmm. Yeah, I think that that's about four. Let's see move on. Uh five. Okay. <clears throat> okay, no fives here, no fives here. Um, no, no, uh, let's see, no fives here, or here, uh, let's look to a better place. We have solved that, there's five, okay, good. Um, alright, let's go to six. Uh, let's see. Um, because we did start to find some numbers on the second time going through all the numbers. We're going to go through it one more time again just to make sure that there are any more things we can solve for that are easy. Then we're going to use another strategy after that. But for now, let's continue all the way up to 9 and then one more time after that. Hopefully, it's not too exhausting, but this does take a while. This is a hard difficulty, so we are going to have to just do our best. Okay, so let's see if we solve for this. No 6 is here. Here we have that down as a note. Um, Sorry, this is picking up a bit of pace. It might be going a little too fast now, but uh, I'm trying to keep it slow enough so you can keep up. Uh, and six is here or here. So we got one, two, three. Uh, well, also there's just six here. Okay, so it's actually just here and here. Okay, got it. Um, okay, I think that that's good. Let's go to seven. All right. And let's go ahead and make some notes. Okay, so could be a seven here, here, or here. All right. And what else? Um, we have that seven or seven already for our notes, as you can see. Seven in this row, and in this row. Okay, for the square. Um. All right. Let's go to eight. Which is by itself, I believe we already finished this. Um, so you can see there's the possible eight here and also here. Um, okay, and then nine. So after this, we're going to go through again one more time, like I said before. Um, okay, so no nine's here, no nine's here. Uh, not a lot of information we can get from that. Alright, one more time. Let's go to one. Okay, uh, Let's see, no one's here, or here, we have our notes, okay. So there's one here or here, right? So we did that already. We don't have to do it again, but just to check over to make sure we got it correct. No one's here or here. Alright, so we're gonna put some more notes here actually. So one here, here, or here. Alright. And I uh, will go up a bit. So we did that. This is one here or here. All right, so that's our done. Um, let's go to two. Okay, so no two is here or here. Um, so we have them here. All right. Um, so no two is here or here. We have notes two or two. Okay, that's good. And also for here, two in one of these rows. Okay. Um. Okay, let's move on to three. So, no threes in this row, this row, this row, we have it down, okay. Um, hmm. I 
go here or here. I don't think that would work. No, no. Um, here, here. I think we already went there. Yes, that's right. And then three to the left, left. That's a six, sorry. Left for three and left over here. Um, a lot of unknowns, like two unknowns or three unknowns, depending on the situation, but usually two. Anyways, okay, four. Um, and of course, here or here, that's three in different locations. If it was three and a line, then I would make a note of that. Um, okay. And let's see. I think we can move on. Five. Uh, and five's here. Up here, uh, no, no, the five's here, or here, we've got like a square, it could be a five, one of them is, and uh, it looks like we solve for this, five, five here, that is five in a row here, no, and a five in a row here, and no, and yes, five here, or five here. Um, okay, let's go to six, all right, almost done with this. First part, uh, then we'll have some of our basic notes. These aren't all our notes yet, but getting there. So, <clears throat> this is a long process. Uh, hopefully, you don't mind watching through this, but anyways, so we have notes here for this six, six, as you can see, no six in this row for this one. Okay, then here, then here, right. Being a bit sleepy, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and continue. The six is here or here. That's in one of these. That was okay. Moving on. <clears throat> seven. Okay. The seven's here or here. We've got an impossible seven here or here. Okay. Um, let's see. The seven's here or here. We've got seven's here. All right. And we go through here. No seven's here. This row or this row. So there's only three possibilities. Mm -hmm. Don't like it either. Um, well, here. Okay. okay. Moving on. H. And like we did before, I believe we've already done this, but no H here. It's somewhere in this row. Go down. No H here. Eight over here or here. Therefore, um, yeah, I think that's it for that. Just uh, some more possible numbers. Okay. And then nine. Uh. So we're going through here, not quite helpful here, not quite helpful either. All right, and now, using some of our notes, let's look through here and, um, try to solve some of the easier ones first. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, so one thing to note, you see this square, for example, there's a one here and a one here. Everywhere else, the square is not a one. Even if it's not obvious, it is for this situation, but for a different one, you might see a square where it could be a one, but if you already wrote down a note, like I did, say, this is a one, or this is a one, and that's it, basically. Um, those are the numbers that you write down first, the ones that are absolutely this or absolutely this, the rest are not. However, when you're going through all the numbers and saying you know, left, right, up, and down, is it a one or a two or a three? And it's when it gets more complicated, it can be all sorts of numbers. However, if you go through it and you may take note of the numbers already there, and make sure that you don't guess it's one of them for uh, writing it down. They guess numbers that are not written down already, basically. If that makes sense. Anyways, um, I'll be using that uh, strategy as well. Okay, so, uh, we'll stop being in this way. This one looks a little difficult. This one right here looks easier to solve. So, going through, uh, let's count one, two, three. So, there could be a four, five, it's not a five, six, not a six, seven, not a seven. So, already four, then, um, <coughs> eight, nine, and ten. I don't see an eight, nine, or ten. Uh, Interesting. Hang on. I think that I just said one of the numbers in the square. One, two, three. Okay, so there's a four, eight, nine. Oh, right, there's no ten. Yeah, sorry about that. I, uh, 
Who should be drinking some more tea more often? Uh, anyways. So yeah, numbers 1 through 9, not 10, like I, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking of Anyways, so, 4 and 8, 9. So, 4, 8, 9 for this, 4, 8, 9 for this, 4, 8, 9 for this. And, alright, let's just go ahead and write it down. 4, 8, 9, 4, 8, 9. Four eight nine. Then let's go through it and make sure it can't be a four eight four nine. So four no fours. Eight C eight. I don't see the eight nine. Nope. Okay. Then four eight nine four eight nine. Then double check. Make sure there are no four or eights four nines in the square. And you've got um three unknown numbers. We did not actually solve that at all. Uh, I thought this would be easy, but no. <laughs> it's okay, it's supposed to take a while. Uh, let's see. Another thing to do is to go through our row and tell right, I'm going to solve it. this one first. So, already we can see it's either 4, 8, or 9. As you can see in here, there are three variables, no more than that. So, let's go up here. 4, 8, 9. I don't see any here either, so I'm going to go ahead and write down 4, 8, 9. Alright. Now, these three numbers uh, have only three variations. Because of that, if there was more to this row, <clears throat> we'll go above and below and say the rest of the numbers are not a 4, 8, or 9 in other squares. However, uh, because of where is this, uh, this situation, it will not help actually because we're only going from top to bottom, not left to right, if we're using that strategy. So, I don't Oh, no. Um, okay. So, let's look for another easier one. Uh, hmm. What's the two numbers I'm scared of? Three numbers I'm okay with, but there's only three number ones now. So, we're going to have to do that. Uh, to start with here and maybe move on to this one, or one of the ones on the top. I feel like this would be easiest. Uh, this is going to take a while, but that's okay. Alright, so let's start with the one we don't know first. So, what's not one, not two, uh, so three, let's turn off our notes. Okay, so three, I don't see a three. And I am looking up, down, left, and right, but I'm not pointing it out. You'll have to look at it yourself, too. Um, figure it out, but anyways, um, it's not a four, it's not a five, it's not a six. Because there's a 6 in the square, it's not a 7, there's a 7 in the square. 8 could be an 8. Um, and a 9. Could be a 9. And yeah, there's only like a few 9s, so a lot of these could possibly be 9. Okay, so 3, 8, 9. Alright, let's go here. Alright, so it could be a 1, it's not a 2. Uh, could be a 3. Um, or a 4. It's not a 5, 6, or 7. But it's not a square. Could be an 8. And it could be a 9. Alright. So we did this one and this one. Okay. So it's not a 1. It's not a 2. Because there are already 2s. Remember the ones in a row. So, um, it's not a 3. It could be a 4. It's not a 5, 6, or 7. It could be an 8. And it's not a 9. Okay. Now, it's not a 1, because remember we have the two ones here already. Memorization is important in this situation. Um, if you had this on paper, you could probably color some of the numbers to remember which ones are absolutely supposed to be there. Like, this has to be a 1, or this has to be a 1. Or we can just memorize that, and then keep that in your memory to uh, figure it out. So, you know, one thing I might point out, I think I could add colors, which I don't have to, honestly, but, um, I feel like that would help. Or just go ahead and buy a notebook, like, or, or the game itself, it doesn't matter, either way. It's not a big deal, but I mean, eh, I guess I just like to use color markers or stuff when I'm doing papers and stuff for uh, classes. But anyways, uh, enough about that. So we went through this, let's go to here. Um, so this is not a 1 or a 2, as we mentioned before. Um, could be a 3, okay. Or a 4. 
four, five, six, six, seven. Could be an eight, and it could be a nine. Okay, gonna move on. And as we know, it's not a one or two. Uh, could be three. Uh, it's not four, five, six, or seven. Could be eight or nine. Okay. Um, it's not a one. Could be a two. As mentioned already, that's why I wrote that one. Um, okay. And it's not a three. Could be a four. It's not five or six or seven. Could be an eight. And then there's nine. All right. So now we're going to go through. Uh, no numbers, no groups of numbers that are the same. Uh, if there are groups of numbers that are the same, look for those. This will help you out later on. But we haven't begun yet. We are still very early in the game. So. <clears throat> let's keep going. This was even better. Um, let's go ahead and just start here. That now we're actually here. So, 489. There's the. Um. Is there another 4 here? Uh, let me check. So. Why did I write that down? Let me, let me just figure this out. Hmm. See, I'm thinking there's probably four in one of these squares. Why is there a four in here? It's kind of what I'm wondering. Oh, oh, right, 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 right there. So it's only a four, eight, or nine. Oh, God. All right, so, what we got? Um, <clears throat> let's see. So keep in mind, this square is not a six or a seven. Okay, so, uh, one, two, um, uh, no. Three, yes, it could be a three. Um, four, mm, yes, possibly. It's not a five, it's not a six, it's not a seven. Um, could be eight or nine. Eight, nine. Okay. And now let's go here. This one right here is already complete. So you can see in this one row, it's only three. Variables are three unknowns. Um, so let's go here. Um, all right, so it's not one or two, three or four or five, six or seven. Um, so it is, uh, it could be a six. That's why I shouldn't have said that. So it could be a six, um, eight or nine. So six. Or that down, uh, eight or nine. Okay. This is not a one or two. It could be a three. Um, four. Okay. It's not a five, six, seven. This is seven. It could be a seven. You wrote that down. You wrote that down. You need to keep that. Okay. Um, eight. Eight or nine, it's gonna be an eight, it's not nine, okay. All right, one, two, no, three, possibly. Okay, uh, okay, four, possibly. Okay, five, no, six, no, seven, seven, no, yes, could be an eight. Yeah, I wrote that down already. Okay. Eight and nine. Yes, eight or nine. Okay. There we go. Um, we want to write a six for this. Do we not complete this? I don't think we completed this yet. One, two, three. Okay, three. Um, where's that? Here. Oh, hang on a second. Um, six and seven. Okay, so it's not a seven. Right, I already know that. All right, so. Three, let's begin that again. So, uh, four could be a four. Um, it's not a five. Could be, it's not a six. Actually. It, it could be actually. Yeah, that's the one where it says it's a six already. Possibly. It's not a seven. Maybe it could be an eight. It's not a nine. All right. There we go. And then later on as well, go through each square and see if there's one number that stands out. Is unlike the other one. That will be the one 
Where one number is in one square, unlike the other ones, will be that one number, even if it has other possibilities. So if we can go through that later, which I'm going to do now, we're still picking those. That's another thing you can uh, think of to solve this. So, uh, let's see. And now let's go through this. Uh, all right. It's not one. Um, let's see. <laughs> Actually, let's start here. Um, I started in the blank squares. Okay, so, uh, one. Oh, no, it could be one, actually. Uh, yeah, I can see that now. Okay, it's not a two. Uh, three, no, four, no. Not a five, not a six, um, not a seven. Could be an eight. Okay. And it's not a nine. These I like two unknowns and one square. I like to get those a lot. Um, okay. If you get two in a row, uh, you look through the rest of the row and say, these are not the two numbers in the two squares. These are not the two numbers in the two squares. If that happens. So, all right. This is not a one. Well, no, this is not. Could be. <sighs> Anyways. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, two, two is not a two, or three, or four, uh, five, six, no, uh, okay, seven, could be a seven, eight, could be an eight, nine, it's not a nine, okay, and now let's start to go up here, so two, four, five, uh, okay, so, go ahead and try to remember this, um, okay, so two, this is obviously two, good, four, um, this is obviously going to be four, and then five, so obviously it's five, so we don't have to worry too much about finding all that, other squares includes this or not, looks like the rest of this is a bit more obvious to remember, so we are going to mess this up, so that's good, um, okay, uh, one, no, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. That could be a one, uh, two, three, no, four, uh, no, five. There was that five already. All right, okay, that's good to know. Six, no, seven, yes, seven, uh, eight, and it's not nine. Okay, next, this could be a one, um, two, no, three, no, four, yes. Five, yes, six, no, seven, seven, yes, um, eight, yes, nine, no, okay, one, no, it's not a one, could be a two, uh, three, four, five, or six, uh, seven, this could also be a seven, eight, yes, it is not a nine. Um, okay, so it's not a one, it could be two, uh, five, no, six, no, seven, seven, yes, it could be a seven, um, eight, and a nine, okay. Got it, okay, now with that square, let's move on, um, okay. So, again, like we did before, I'm going to go through here and make sure we know what the other numbers are, so one, eight, nine, so... Uh, let's actually start here. So, one, two, three. Okay, so this could be a three. Four, five, six. This could be a six. Uh, seven. Yes. Uh, eight. You have that written down already, and it's not a nine. Okay, so I solved that. All right, so remembering, uh, let's see, what are we working with? Actually, I don't know if these really count, because it's a three unknown and only two squares. Therefore, even if there are any combination, there would be one number missing in one of these squares that we have for a possibility. Therefore, the other numbers are also unknown, and these do not help too much. So, we're just going to... Not worry too much about that. Alright, so 
one, two, three, okay, it's gonna be a three, um, four, five, six, okay, seven, okay, there we go, and eight, nine, no, okay, uh, one, two, three, okay, uh, four, five, wait, four, Oh, okay, four, five, six, seven, seven, okay, eight, nine, it's not eight, nine, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, okay, um, two variables again, I'll put that through as a C, if I can do anything with that. I don't think I can at the moment, so uh let's move on, I suppose. Uh take a quick look at this to see if there's anything else. Um two of these are the same. I guess some more of those later, that would be nice. Alright, anyways. Uh this is three. Let's start here. This is in the middle. I don't know if that's the best or the worst. Um, but I think I guess it depends on what we're doing, but Okay, uh, so you have no numbers written down here at all of that. That is a bit worrisome. Uh, you should make sure I see the six here. That means this is not a six here. But we can already see that for this number. But anyways, we're going to try to keep that in mind. Uh, well, I think we did when we were making notes though, so I think we're good. I think we're good. So let's not worry too much about that. Anyways, um, two. Okay, so this could be two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, eight, uh, nine, something nine. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a lot of numbers though in here. In the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Uh, all right, and at this point, it may as well go full speed ahead. Uh, this is gonna take a while, anyways. But um, I'll still try not to make any mistakes. Uh, okay, one, uh, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, uh, eight, and nine. All right, that's a Quite a bit of numbers. Uh, okay. One. Oh, I can see. Wait. Right, let's, let's just uh, take our time. One. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Um, eight, nine. Okay. Alright. And. Let's see, one, two, two, three, four, five, yes, six, seven, no, eight, um, yes, nine, uh, yes, okay, one, two, yes, three, no, four, no, five, no, six, no, um, seven, Eight, yes, nine, no, okay, here we go, um, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with the middle for a while, but it'll just be there for later, anyways, um, where should we go, we already been in here, I feel like we've already solved this, uh, or at least put the, uh, numbers in, have we, I think we have, yeah, we probably, probably but, yeah, Okay, so we've got these three squares, uh, left, uh, anyways. <clears throat> Where should we start? I guess we'll start somewhere. Okay, um, uh, alright. One, two, two. Uh, okay. Three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, okay, so nine, two, nine, all right, and one, two, um, let's see, it's a bit hard to think at the moment, uh, let me see, just put that on the table two, three, four, four, no, it's not a four, because these are the only fours, so, so it's not a four, um, no twos are written out, right now, four though, so, could be a two, it's not a four, I do see that, um, five, six, no, it's not a six, seven, eight, okay, so nine, so two nine. Um, with this information, oh, one moment. So with this information, this is a two or a nine, this is a two or a nine. Therefore, this is not a two. Now, we did not solve for this yet. It was not a six. It just says that it could be a six, and only other ones are not a six yet. We haven't in all, gotten all the notes yet for this, but we can get rid of this two. And the reason we got rid of that, I'll explain it again because you didn't see that. But this is a two or a nine, and this is a two or a nine. Um, in any combination, these are the only two and nines in this whole row. Uh, the reason that is, is because you can see, um, you can switch the row any way you want. Two and nine, or two and nine, uh, nine or two, anyway. But the other ones cannot be a nine or a two, because that would be repeating numbers, and you cannot do that. So, um, let's continue. Okay. So, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, turn this on. Uh, let's see. So before we go, um, let's see. One, three, four. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, if it does not have the one, or three or four in it already, then we don't write it down. Um. So yeah. One. Where it's obvious, I'm just making sure so I don't make a mistake. Three, three, it's also obviously there, good. Four, um, I'm just going to have a problem with this. I need to remember these two are four, so let's actually start with these so I don't get this confused. So these three in this area, of course, remember four is here and four is here. So, um, let's do further modification. Alright, so one, Two, three, four, five. Answer on five. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. Five, six, seven. Seven and eight nine. Okay. Now let's go here. One, two, eight, two, three, three, uh, maybe right now two right for this. I think two is okay. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so three. Mm -hmm. We had that already, I believe. Out of four, um, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. Okay, so let's go here. One, um, two, three, four, so four. Oh, we have four already. Okay, that's good. Um, just making sure. Um, five, okay, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight and nine. All right, one, two, uh, two, three, four, yeah, four. Okay, good, I have that already. I'm just gonna add that, but listen, we already wrote that down. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and then nine. Okay, there we go. So we still have those two numbers there. Uh, See if anything else at the moment. 
So let's go here and here. Then we have all our notes after this. Two more squares. So let's begin. Uh, all right. So two, seven, uh, six. So six is here. I can see that. It's easy to see. Seven is here. Good. Two is here. How do I get two by itself? Let me see. Just going to make sure. So no two is here or here. Two is here or here. Is there a two here? Um, interesting. Did I make a mistake and I forgot to add? Let me see. Could it happen? I think it happened. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Odd. Uh, uh, I think. Oh. Oh, there was a two here, but I got rid of it because of this room. Now I remember. Right, right. I don't know I forgot. That. Anyways, uh, enough about that. So, that means that this is a two, actually. So, let's go ahead and do that. This is a two. There we go. Alright. Anyways, I should have a bit. So, now we just have six and seven. So, it's easier because this is obvious. So, it's up here, as well as this. Uh, should be easy. Alright. Make some more notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay, so three, nine. All right. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Got that already. Good. Eight, nine. Okay. So three, four, five, seven. Uh -huh. Okay. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven there already. Okay, good. Uh, eight, and okay, nine. There we go. All right. Um, one, two, three, three. Four, five, six, uh, seven. Yes, seven there. Okay, good. Eight. Yes, there already. Nine. Uh, could be a nine. One, two, three, four. Okay, four, five, six, six. Yes, we have the six there. Good. Okay. Seven. Uh, eight, nine, nine. Okay, four, six, nine. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, um, six. Okay, good. Okay, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, nine, six, nine. Um, okay, there we go. We have another one Look for that in a row. Okay. All right. One. Oh, hang on a sec. So, uh. This is obvious for two, yes, six, yes, eight. Um, for eight, it's not as obvious, so I need to remember. These two are eight, the rest are not. So remember that. Let's we'll start here on this side, not touch the square for eight yet. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so um, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. All right. One, two, three. Okay, three, four, five, five, um, six. We have the six now already. Okay, good. Seven, eight, okay, eight, uh, and nine. Okay. Seven, seven. 
Just remember that, because these two are an eight, this one not. Uh, just make sure remember this. Okay, so three, four, uh, five, and six, seven, seven, uh, eight, and then nine. Okay. All right, let's go through these two, and we're done with the start doing the next thing. And if you want to, you can turn on auto check for mistakes. But that's for like uh practice or something. I wouldn't say that's for playing it for real. I mean, normally Sunoki was on paper, they don't have a computer to auto check for mistakes. Now, can you use it? I'm not against it. I mean, if you want to, that's just my opinion. You don't have to. So yeah, it just depends on preference. So what was I saying? Oh yes. Um uh, this is not an H. This is not H. Anyways, glad I didn't get that other one, other squares first. Let me make sure I got rid of that. Okay, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, six, eight, and then nine. Okay. All right, here we go. Now let's look for patterns. This is important in solving. This could take a minute or two, uh, but we're gonna look around. Okay. So nine, two, nine. Yes, we got that. Another thing to note: we go through the square, look for any twos or nines in here, and get rid of them. So getting rid of the nine. Here, here, and here. Any twos? I don't see any twos. Okay, so that helps to simplify it a little bit. It may not help a lot, but it should be useful. Okay, it's got six, nine, three, nine, uh, seven, eight. I don't see. Let's go through row to row, column to column, square to square. So now we're going to get through all the little details. This is going to take quite a while. It took us an hour to get this far. Oh, it's going to take us a lot longer now. Hopefully not too long, but this is going to be interesting. All right, so here we go. One, two, okay, so three, four, five, eight, nine. Okay, so three, four. I'm looking for one number in one of these lines or columns is unique and by itself. If I can find that, I'll know that the number is that one number that's unique and I'll solve for that. Anyways, so three, four, five, eight, nine, so three, four, five, eight, nine, oh, okay. One, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, one. Three, four, five, seven. Oh, this is not a seven. Got that one wrong. Excuse me, just to make sure you have all your mistakes if you made any. I'll show you for mistakes. No, no, I'm not going to use that. So, one, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and nine, okay. Two, four, five, six, nine. Two, four, five, six, nine. Okay. Um, two, oh, here we go. There's four here. So not four here, not four here, and not four here. Okay, so this is a four. Good, good, all right. There we go, that helps simplify things a bit. This is a seven, solve for that. This is an eight. Okay. This is a three. This is a five. This is a six. 
this is a two, this is a four, see how the notes automatically erase themselves. So normally, I scratch out the notes and go from a square above and then a side. See if the notes say a four, like so, if they don't, then I scratch them out or whatever. But it automatically does that for you, so that's a bit helpful. Honestly, it feels kind of, uh, kind of necessary, but I mean, at the same time, you know, if that's the way it is, that's fine, but on paper, is a different story. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, let's continue. So, now we have 9 over here, 7, 3, 5, 6, and we are beginning to solve this. 8, um, 1, 9, Hmm. Let's see. One eight. Oh, okay, here we go. Another one. Uh, two numbers. One and eight. One and eight. So this is not a one. Let's turn on notes again. This is not an eight. Okay. This is a four. Here we go. All right. This is not an eight again. Turn on notes. And then turn them off. This is a five. Okay. Uh, eight. This is not an 8, so it's a 3. I'll just say that. So, yeah, 3, um, 4, 8, 4, 8, 8, 9. This is the only one that can be a 9 now, so this is a 9. Okay. Oh. This is an 8. This is a 1. This is a 2. This is a 1. This is an 8. Okay, 1, uh, 4. Two. Alright, alright. What else? Nine. One. Okay. Um. What else? Okay. Seven, nine, seven, nine. This is not a nine, it's a five. Okay. Mm. One. This is a one. Looking for the one number this by itself. Right. So. Alright. And what else? Mm, got a few numbers left. Let's make sure we can get them. Seven, nine, seven, nine, eight, nine. This is an eight. Okay. And four over here. Eight. Okay. And four. Seven, all right, two, four, all right, eight, five, three, uh, nine, okay, eight, six, three, seven, uh, three, nine, almost done, nine, seven, two, Nine, six, and seven. And there we go, we solved it. Awesome. It took us um, a bit over an hour, but I mean, it um, takes a while to pick all those notes. Honestly, I could never really do a speed run with this. That, that, this is not my thing. I do like to go over and explain everything, though, so I mean, that was fun. And yeah, I felt kind of good. I feel, I don't know, like I achieved something. I do. I played with it quite a bit when I was younger, though, so that may be one of the reasons why I was able to do a bit of a challenge for these puzzles. But honestly, anyone could do this, you know, if they played it for quite a while, you know, it's a bit of a harder one or whatever, if they've done easier ones before. But, anyways, um, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, and hopefully, you find this video helpful in some way. And, um, yeah, I think that's all. Um, so, yeah, again, you can. Visit the website if you want. I'll put a link in the description, or you can get it on the Play Store or whatever. Um, but it is free, so I mean, you can just get to the website and do that. Anyways, that's all. Okay.